So it's post uh, post day one keynote at uh, VMworld, and we're here with the panicked Microsoft executive, Microsoft uh, um, Mike Neal uh, from Microsoft, to uh, to do a, a debrief on what happened during the keynote. So uh, me and Harry, we're, we're we're running scared, to be perfectly honest. Windows is dead. Uh, Zed, Steve Herod plays Minesweeper. Yeah, an awful lot. An awful lot. Ten yeah. percent of his time, he says. That's, yeah. that's a fair amount. I was surprised that they didn't have more connective, you know, a, a more connected story between what they're doing for their platform and uh, what they're doing at the infrastructure layer. It seemed like that's still very di di disconnected, a big gulf there between the, the solutions that they've got. And you know, they talked a little bit about open and interoperable, but I think you know got some good views on that as well. Yeah, so the open and interoperable piece on the cloud that is, I mean, that they, they speak the language of open and interoperable and standards. The challenge, of course, is that they mandate VMware infrastructure on both sides. Right. <laughs> so great, it's all open and interoperable, but it's all VMware. And uh, so that isn't right. really open yeah. and interoperable. It was also very interesting to me that they put Amazon into the category of being consumer cloud. Well, it's kind of true, but it, but uh, my strange. goodness me, <laughs> very yeah. strange. We, we, we know, sell a lot of SQL into that, and I'm, you know, not, not thinking there's many consumers that are running SQL in there. There's a ton of windows <laughs> up in, in, uh, in Amazon, as yeah. you know. And really on the desktop side, there was uh, really nothing. It was really a, let's redefine the desktop as a bunch of SaaS applications that were loosely coupled together somehow. And really no mention of that, you know, checking in and checking out architectures with type 2 hypervisors, not the most secure way to do it. No mention of their failure to deliver RTO, which is part of, you know, an essential piece for a desktop virtualization solution, still missing in the view 405. So, so really you have to question are they really serious about the desktop? Do they really and understand? And the V-Shield itch thing was really interesting because sure. basically it was Cheerio security boys, you're all done. I mean it was, you know, it's security is now a component of their platform. And then there was, and by the way, we've got a bunch of partners here and uh, that's I it. think it was also just sort of repackaging of what's out there today. I mean, you know, people do VPN connections between their cloud environments all the time today. Yes, but now, but, but now they offer it in software. Well, which yes. means, oh, sorry, oh, got that Juniper device yeah. and that Cisco device? Oh, don't yeah. need them anymore. Yeah. VMware will do it. Just got that uh, VMware V in front of it that you know, right. the marketing folks that come up with. So. A VVPN, I can yeah. see that one. Yeah, yeah. we good. <laughs>